Is Brexit red mist clouding the Romaniac Alistair Campbell's judgment? Tony Blair's aggressive former spin doctor went a bit ukip at the labor lever Gisela Stewart before the pair appeared on BBC One Sunday Politics. When are you going to stop fucking up my country, growled Raging Alley. It's my country, too, shot back the upset German-born Stewart, the Birmingham Edge Baston MP for two decades until quitting last June. Campbell's second verbal punch, you've got another country to go to, was so below the belt that, aimed by a Brex extremist at a stair, might have had the snarling Roddy denouncing xenophobia. Stewart has lived in Britain since 1974. Standing for labor with the surname of her Bavarian parents, Gishader, she was unsuccessful in the 1994 European elections. Three years later, under the Stewart name of her first husband, she won Edge Baston in Labour's 1997 landslide. She never expected a loyalty test from a Labour Romaniac. Theresa May has failed the suffragette test of deeds, not words, this time over rooting out gropers on the Tory benches. The Prime Minister's appeal for, handsy, MPs to be reported isn't appreciated in her own whip's office. The backbencher Andrew Bridgen's reward for revealing that he'd passed on allegations against Dan Poulter, which, I acknowledge in the interests of fairness, the doctor and Suffolk MP denies, was a menacing button holding by a whip. Bridgen was warned that he'd be the most hated man in the Tory party if he referred more colleagues. That s like a threat to me. One unintended consequence of police cuts is longer labor selection meetings. The party's international development spokeswoman, Cato Samor, the Edmonton MP, was in a session of Tottenham's West Green Ward when a congregant who had been told that he wasn't eligible to vote flatly declined to leave. The cops were called but the local police station answered that Tory cuts had left it with no officers to send. The protester eventually departed, presumably bored. Back to the unguarded Nigel Farage, who, as this column last week disclosed, privately endorses a higher EU divorce offer to avoid a no-deal Brexit. The snout, who befriended the Brextremist at Lisbon Airport, whispered that the UKIP motor mouth tipped Jacob rees for the Tory crown over Boris Johnson and David Davis. In Strang as Bar, the county Armaborn St. Helens Labour MP, Connor McGinn, was spied popping the TV remote control into his jacket pocket so English comrades couldn't switch over from Ireland and Mark to England Brazil. He could have saved himself a lot of pain by letting them have it. The Republic were thumped 51.